Hello, welcome back, and uh, I'm going I'm going to take you straight on how we can create a crimped sheet for uh, a roof monitor for a, for a simple structure you can see here, which we have uh, a, a monitor uh, a monitor structure on top here. So we want to create a sheet, and the sheet is somehow crimped. Crimped means uh, some edges are curved, and the top here are curved. So the crimped is just a C uh, C R I M uh, P E D a crimped sheet like this one you can see carved like this. So it is what you want to create just now, and I want to just to show you the settings that you need to put down in place so that you can be able to create uh, a crimped sheet. So uh, wh whatever we want to place the crimped sheet is this is this section here, and this is this is a roof monitor. So on the on the roof monitor we want to create uh, a sheet. Uh, I mean. Uh, or corrugated or uh, a boxed uh, a box profile sheet. So I've already laid down the the guiding guiding points. Like you can see, I've created a line here that the, the two lines are intersecting at that point, and we have a point there, and we have a point here, and we have a point here. So these are the lines that I've created. So this line has been intersected with this line here. So I'll use this those intersection points as my as my guidelines when uh, when I'm creating the 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 sheet the profile the crimped sheet profile, then I'll be able to now bring uh, create the carved ship that now defines it as a crimped uh, sheet. Now I'll come to steel there and come to a beam and I'll pick uh, I'll click I'll click on drop down arrow there and I'll be able to have some options here so I'll be able to pick on the beam. So that probably will not work. And in this case, we want to use the polybeam tool. So under polybeam tool, I'm going to just go back on the Samsung beam tool and pick on the polybeam. So once I've done so, I need to put these points into a visible, a visible location. So to do that, I'll, I'll be able to, I'll have to turn this structure into a position that I'll be able to see all the points that I've placed in, uh, that I've placed as a as a guideline to help me. Uh, define the profile of this particular uh, uh, cream sheet of, of the roof monitor. Now, the, 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 the intersection points are here, one here, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, let me just go back and just get started right away as I had showed you. I'm going to pick on the polybeam and I'm going to start snapping on the, on, on the locations that I had created. But unfortunately, I've clicked on the wrong position because our intersection point is this on that spot and another intersection point is this. And another interse intersection point is that, and another one here, and another one here, just to to define the profile of the of the of the roof monitor. Now let me just come back once again and pick up the polybeam and zoom close, and I'll be able to snap on that spot and just follow the profile as it is, and I'll snap on that spot once again and come here and snap on that spot once again and snap here once again. So once you've done, you are done with the the mo uh, once you've reached. Uh, the complete end of your profile definition, just go ahead and press your middle button in the mouse. So the only to press your middle button in the mouse like that, you'll be able to create you'll be able to create a polybeam like that. So this is the polybeam that you're going to convert into a, a box profile a box profile that you'll be able to uh, define as uh, a roof covering or a crimped sheet here. Now I want to change this profile into a box profile like this one here. So let me just first of all double click on, on any here. Let me just double click uh, maybe on this one. So once I've double clicked on it, I'm going to just copy the profile and paste it on this one here. So this is the profile I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy that profile by highlighting it and, and clicking copy. Then I'm going to double click on this profile once again of the polybeam that we've just created. Now I want to change that profile by this one by just pasting on the on the panel there and then go ahead and click pro, uh, uh, click modify so if you take a look here you can see it's taking a, a very weird shape uh, that is not defining what you really wanted to see so you, should, you shouldn't be worried about that you'll be able to uh, rectify that or rotate it into uh, to into uh, into a, a direction that it will be able to appear like uh, a box profile that you had just created. Now let me just come back, right click, and uh, if I come, if I double click on it like that, I'll be able now to come on these positions here. 
So under these positions, I'll be able to probably start rotating this. Let me come to rotation here. And if I come to rotation, I'll be able to pick on back. So I'll, I'll use these options and uh, turn that like that. So if you see that has, uh, has accepted our option, so what you are going to do, you can you can see it, there is an overlap and we want that uh, covering to start right at the edge of this roof canopy here. So we want to shift it inward or inside. So for, for the covering to, to start right from the startings of the pilings on the roof monitor. So let me, I'll come back here and pick on the depth on the depth there and pick on front. Then I'll go ahead and click copy. Let me just uh, click uh, modify. So once we are there, I'll come to navigate once again and I'll rotate with mouse and pick my rotation point and left click and hold and move my mouse like that. You'll be able to see we have that shape. But this is not yet a crimped shape that we, we, we wanted to create. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these nodes here, this node and this node and that node to create a crimp or to create a, curve, a, a, a curved shape on this section because it, it, this is so sharp. So the cream is just uh, creating a fillet. You just fill it this and fill it the other side, the other side and fill it the other side. So I'm going to just to left click on this handle here, like that. Let me just click on it and click on the handle right there. It's not responding. And what I'm going to do first of all, let me just bring it out first. Let me just bring it out slightly and uh, bring it left and see how it will behave like that. It's not. In the position that we want it to be on so let me just come and uh, click middle and uh, shift that to that to that location and if I let me pick on middle once again and uh, shift it there so I'll select on it then pick on this so I'm not able to pick on the on the on the handles so what I'm going to do I'm going to hide the construction lines here uh, which seems to uh, tend to uh, blockers from picking the, the, the appropriate handle. So I've double clicked on empty empty screen by left clicking and I'm come, I'll come to display right there. So under display, I'm going to pick on construction line here. I'm going to disable the construction lines. I'll go ahead and click modify and give it, yeah, click apply and click OK. So in this, in this particular case, I'll be able now to get rid of, uh, I've hidden all the construction lines. So if I come to, 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 to the sheet that we've just created there, and another thing, I want to change the color code here. So let me just select on this and see the color code. Which color code is this? This is one. So I want to change this also to match this one also. So I'll come here and either just click one or just select on the color code there and click modify. So we have the same color code. So let's first of all create a fillet that will enable this to to be called or uh, to be called a crimped shape or to crimp this. So I'll click. To, I've clicked on that handle. So once you click on that handle by left clicking, you'll be you'll be given these options of corner of chamfers. So under shapes here, you click on this drop down arrow and you have variety of options on how you can uh, chamfer this. So in this particular case, we want to create a round or a fillet. So we'll go ahead and pick on the round. So on the round here, we'll enter a radius of of, of, of that curve. So in this particular case, I'm going to key in uh, maybe 600. Let me see 600 if 600 will work. If I click on that, we'll see a curvature, but it's super big and that's not the best. So I'm going to click there and change that to, uh, probably to 400 and click on that. And uh, that is super nice and that will match better. So before we check, we have to check whether it's matching and you can see you. Uh, the J-hooks or uh, self-tapping screws you will be able to fit it right there and uh, that is perfect for that location. So take note of that. So if we come the, the, uh, the opposite direction also will fit the same same information to create uh, a crimp or, uh, or or to crimp this sheet or or, or uh, the, uh, the, the the boxed uh, sheet. Uh, profile. So I'm going to left click on that handle once again and feed in the same same information here by picking on the round and uh, come here and select on that and key three, uh, I mean 400 right there and click and click modify. So once I've clicked modify like that you can see that has changed to 400. So I'm going to click here once again on top here and once I've done so I'm going to come to round here and pick on round 
and pick once again and change that to 400. You can give this 400 in that particular case and see whether it will, it will, it will respond. Definitely it has responded and you want to add more because uh, we want to change that. We can make it 600 uh, or 500 will be okay. Let me just uh, uh, click modify and that's okay. So once I've created a cream sheet like that, you can see it's super nice. So and uh, now let me just uh, select on it once again and pick on it. So once I've picked on it, I want to move it inward like that. So I'm going to pick front. Let me see how where front will take us. There we are. So we want to populate this along the uh, along the full length of the whole structure all the way to the bottom to the to this side. So the next thing we want to do, we want to just to, to select select it, right click and come to special copy here and pick on copy, uh, pick on linear. So we'll check the direction of x axis or the, the or, or the direction of the x y z axis. In this particular case, you can see we have the x axis is pointing this direction, and what we want to do, we want to prefix that dimension with a positive sign. So prior to doing that, you have to note down. The exact length of this particular uh, sheet so th that is key and uh, we have to uh, take note of that so the, the next thing i'm going to check the distance from here so the distance to check that distance i'll, I'll come to that location or uh, I'll, uh, or i'll just double click on it once I double click on it, I'll be able to see and I'll, I will not be able to see all the properties because uh, because i had exploded that so let me just come back here and check that like that and uh, probably snap on that spot and get an average length on, on that on, in that regard. So let me just uh, make it straight. And if I click on that, you can see that is 900. So I want to populate this, right click and come to special copy here and pick on linear. So on the X, on the X axis, but in the, on the, on the, on the negative direction, I'm going to prefix my, my 900 millimeters by a negative sign and I, I'm, I need approximately, I need 94 there if I'm not wrong. So I'm going to click copy in that direction. So let me just click copy and see how that is populated along the full length of the whole structure. So let's just give some time for that information to be digested. And if you click OK and zoom out like that and move the other side of, of things, we can be able to see we have everything in place but is uh, perfectly matching our, our prediction of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the complete number of, of the cream sheets here. So let me come to new and come to navigate. If I pick on rotative mouse, I'll be able to rotate that and you can see that has been created. So that's how you create a cream sheet, a cream sheet uh, uh basically for a roof monitor uh, structure so i hope you'll try a similar thing and uh after i've taken a little bit of time so that you get all the information that i intended to share with you so this is something that you can do in um, maybe five minutes when you are done or three or four minutes there so being a teacher i have to uh, go deeper and explain them in, in every as as aspect that you'll be able to digest it uh, properly and be able to apply on your own, your, or apply it on your own. So this is how it looks, and that's how it's done. So let's meet then on a different topic, and we'll be able to uh, share tips and tricks on how you can use the class structure. So so I'll be also sharing the same on commerces. So let's meet then on the next on a different topic. Bye bye.